Hello there everyone, it's Jack about 88 and welcome back to The Sims 2 Ultra Hood. We'll continue with Strange Town and it's time for the Smith family. So it says out of fruitful career, Pollination Technician 9 has retired to his favorite planet. But can his son Johnny make friends and fit in, or is his family just too strange for Strange Town? Alright, now let's head in to the Smith family. And once it loads, it's going to be Johnny's 18th birthday. Now, I'm actually going to have him age like two days. So he's going to age up into an adult. But then at six, he's also going to age up again. At least I think he is. And then his age will still be in sync with Ophelia's so that he can move in at the start of round one with her. Because I don't want like him to be you know off from Ophelia. He's one day older than her, and I forgot to do the chill out clock again. But anyways, he's one day older than Ophelia, or one year technically. So let's read this. Johnny's ready to become a man. He wants a birthday party to mark the occasion. So pick up the phone to advise friends, blow out the candles when everybody's ready. So, let's see. You can't go to college. I'm not going to have a great party. I'm not going to nothing. She wants to have a baby. Okay. So I'm going to lock that in. And for Jill. I'll lock and gain a skill point. Let's go ahead and read the bios and everything. And then I'll get started on setting everything up. So for Paul here. As I like to call him. His bio reads. The only thing PT9 loves more than his lawn is his family. When he is not spending time with his children, he enjoys clipping coupons and staring up at the sky. He is turned on by fitness and gray hair, and he's turned off by good at cleaning. But Jenny... Jenny loves having a career, but she wishes she could spend more time with her family and maybe make some new friends. She really likes green. And she is turned on by cologne and facial hair and turned off by underwear. Johnny's bio reads, Johnny dreams of being the hero that rides in on a white horse, or at least a cool sports car. He is turned on by hats and red hair and he's turned off by unemployed. And little Jill here. When Jill closes her eyes, she sees dolphins. She has a heart set on becoming a deep sea wielder someday. So, we'll see. But, let's go ahead and set everything up. And let's look at their gender preferences. So, for Paul, he is straight. Jenny is also straight. And Johnny is also straight. Jill doesn't have a gender preference since she is still a child. So I'm going to go ahead and set everything up and then I'll be back. Alright, so now it's time to do body hair. Let's see. For Paul. 1 through 5. He's going to get number 2. So we have to wait. And that's what he got. You can kind of see it, it's light. And for Johnny, number five, he got that one. Also seems fairly light. Aspirations for these two. Have six grandchildren? Yeah, I can see that. So I'm going to write that down. And for Jenny, Young Captain Hero, no. Graduate three children from college. Yeah, that'll work. Secondaries. He is secondary popularity. Yeah. 
and Jenny is the secondary romance. Uh oh, that could cause some trouble. Hopefully not though. Time for their hobbies. Let's see. Paul's is film and literature. Jenny. Is art and Johnny is don't know why I switched them. I don't need to. Is music and Jill's is also film and lit. Now it's time to start scripted events. Tank is going to crash the party. So you know, and I had to get rid of that face paint because it's hideous, and I hate it. So, Paul, no, the party, no, the party. Um, there's no birthday party, probably because his age ain't right here, but it'll just be a house party then. And we are going to definitely invite Ophelia and then let's just invite his family. Coley, Laszlo, Lola, Pascal, and Vicken. So I don't know if they'll actually show up, but we'll see. And oh yeah, we need to also invite Rip because Rip is actually almost friends his family and tank is definitely not invited but he's gonna crash the party anyways um. yeah because you can see here whip is almost friends and yeah some people didn't show up so who didn't show up is the real question and yeah, there's Tank coming in uninvited. Okay, so Pascal, Whip, Mazo showed up and Ophelia also showed up. And I think this is Strange Town's Bella, um, called Elise Bass. Oh, wait. I just said Strange Town's Bella. No. This is the Bella, because Strange Town's not a subhood, pleasant viewers. So that's actually Bella Goth. I'm fairly certain. certain. It looks like her. So I have a queen template for pleasant view, then, uh, uh well, you know. There is, um, Bellows there. And of course, Tink is booking you. You want to do something with Tink. You want to irritate Tink. So we're going to do that. Irritate. Insult. <laughs> okay, Tank. That's very... That's very nice. And so the only two that did it, um... Show up was Cola, was Coley and Lola. Oh, you wouldn't want to fight against Tank. Fight, attack. <laughs> They're doing this outside. Do <laughs> 
Who's so gonna win? Once this is over, we'll have Johnny go blow out the candles. Oh, Johnny won! <laughs> the way I fall asleep. Like, look at this. Like, if only you weren't, like, outside, I could use that as a screenshot. But anyways. Let's go ahead and have them go a little out the candles. Or not. Oh, that's fun. The birthday cake's not gonna work, so we're not gonna get the cutscene. That's annoying. Good that event's working, yet caking. Oh, that's a bummer. It's probably cut uh, actually. Wait, I can make it your birthday, actually. Hold on. Is it shift clicking? Yes, it's shift clicking. Set to birthday. Hmm. And now the cake will work. See? I know how to do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and blow out the candles. And so we'll actually get the cutscene, hopefully. And everyone will go around. And that's loud. Johnny lost to Grave of School today. Seriously? That's uncalled for, but. Okay. Hmm. So let's take a screenshot of Johnny blowing out his candles here. It'll have to do. Anyways, let's continue watching. <laughs> That's loud. And we're not getting the cutscene. What are you wearing? Wow, so this is what being on top of the world feels like. I could admit it feels like living life is a breeze. And Johnny has gone into an adult. As a teenager, Johnny achieved the aspiration level of teen idol. That's fantastic. Life with Johnny just couldn't get any better. So, I don't. What are you wearing? So next, go to Venice. Johnny is ready for a life of his own, getting a job, moving out with him on his adult journey. So that means you're supposed to move him out. But we're going to wait until 6 to do that. Because I actually need him to be... 19, so his age stays in sync with Aphelia's, because as I said, Aphelia and Johnny are one year separate by age. So once it hits, everyone will age up one day, and so he will also age up again, and yes, that means one day of Johnny's life is going to be lost, but does it really matter? with a lot of time left, we can just say that that, like, day is something like he doesn't remember and he doesn't want to remember or something. And then I'll worry about his secondary and stuff at a later date. So I'm gonna have him go talk to Aphelia. Someone in a chain and have a sim. 
Um, <laughs> that's what kind of influence Ophelia to do something. Influence to talk to Jenny, I guess. I don't think he's going to have a great party considering it's still a snoozer. Oh, well, it gets engaged. I'm gonna lock that in. I'm gonna have him come out here and grab a plate, plate of salad. Oh, Jim wants to get an A plus with Bolt Cards along that instead. And, um, Johnny just walked in on Whip using the bathroom. That's lovely. <laughs> Go use the other bathroom. And once the party's over, I'll fix his clothing. Oh, and I never did the makeovers for these guys, did I? Oops. I forgot. Did everything else, I forgot their makeovers. Well... We'll do it after this, I guess. Oh, he wants to get a job in a politics career. Hmm, I'm gonna lock that in instead since he wants to do that. So, after this party, what do everyone's makeovers? Congratulations on hosting a terrific party, you guys had a fantastic time. Oh! Final party school was a good time. Oh, it must have gotten a good time at the last second. So, we have some cleaning up to do. And Paul is out here trying to catch butterflies. No. I need you to get inside, clean this up. Clean this up. Basically clean everything up. And then we'll do makeovers. I can't believe I forgot to do that. Let's do Paul first. Go see up, change appearance. I'm mad at myself for forgetting to do this. I'm still gonna keep the screenshot I took for the thumbnail. Just gonna be non makeovered. Yeah, I won't be able to give any body with a green oh aliens eyelashes. I'm gonna do middle. See any wrinkles since he's an elder. And that's it. For Jenny, let's give her these eyelashes. And uh, maybe add some lip gloss. Yeah, I like that. The clothes can stay. We'll do Johnny last. Jill. I want to change your hair. And why is her observation so low? Goodness. Let's give her those eyelashes. And then let's give her a different hairstyle. I'm not a huge fan of these pigtails. I like this one, right? Yeah, let's go for this. And then Johnny. Since he has he has normal eyes, so maybe Yeah, well I can't give him any eyelashes. We don't have an option for green skin. So plain outfit. What do you have in the closet? Because this is a no. Gym clothes should be this. Not your everyday. 
And does he have no outerwear? I don't know if I want to know that. So, we need to buy him some new everyday clothes and some outerwear. He aged up in a full body outfit. So, I'm thinking also a full body. Kind of thinking this. I do like this blue. We might have to go with this instead of something yellow, or we could go with this, which is like a greenish yellow. But also his skin's green. So I'm thinking the blue. Yeah, we'll do that. We need to get him some outerwear. Let's get him this. Alright. He said, so we're just gonna wait for six and then they'll age up. Oh, it's six and the phone's ringing. Okay. Johnny, is Jenny available to talk? That's interesting. I feel you called to talk to Jenny and not Johnny. Interesting. Hey, Baba Boom, do you see? But it is six. So they did age up. So Paul is 61, Jenny is 40, Johnny is 19, and Jill is 9. So, it's time for Johnny to move out. No, we're not going downtown. He's gonna place it in there. And he's going to be going by himself. Cause he's just going to be moving in with Ophelia. Which I'm not going to move him yet until round one. And there he goes. And Joe's throwing a fit. And there he is. So he's gone. And... That's basically it. For this next family. So I'm going to save. And once round one does start, I will move Johnny in with Ophelia before we start their round. So anyways, thank you guys for watching and remember to stay determined. Goodbye guys.